Hello, everybody. It's an interesting proposal that's being pushed around. That's moving the start date back for public schools. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Katz. This proposal hit the House Education Committee to change the first day of school to the Monday before Labor Day. KRK4's Rebecca Jeffrey found out why the lawmaker wanting the change is pushing forward and also how parents feel about it. Rebecca? Well, Bob and Ashley, to put this date into perspective, this school year, Little Rock School District started August 13th. The Monday before Labor Day was August 27th. That means the first day of school would be pushed back two weeks. When that first bell rings for the first day of school, it could be closer to September if House Bill 1390 is voted in. Why and what is the purpose behind it? The question many parents like Vicki Hatter are asking after State Representative Mark Lowry proposed pushing back the public school start date by two weeks, moving it to the Monday before Labor Day. And I think that this further erodes our educational system. But Representative Lowry argues the Department of Parks and Tourism is what's eroding. This bill is an attempt to help an industry that is losing dramatically because of earlier and earlier start days. He says tourism is the number two industry in the state, and when kids go back to school, the money-making opportunities halt. Five million dollars per year is lost in state taxes for every week earlier into the month of August that the school start is. But he recognizes moving the start date in any direction takes planning for districts and parents, and even if it's signed by the governor, it wouldn't take effect until after the 2019-2020 school year. He also says starting late wouldn't necessarily mean ending late, but extended holidays would need to be modified. There's just so much shifting that would have to be done. Which Lowry believes is worth it for the state, but Hatter's not convinced it's worth it for the schools. This is just too hasty for me. Representative Lowry is already looking at amending this proposal to go from a two-week change to a one-week change. He says he tried to pass this two years ago, but school districts said it would be too difficult to make a two-week shift when it comes to mandatory testing and athletic schedules and the such. Right now, the proposal is in committee and has not made it to the House floor yet. Back to you.